In this video, we're going to talk about how you can save out and copy a component, how you can copy components and bodies and move them around quickly in your assembly, and the gotchas you should be aware of. So check it out. All right, let's get into the many different styles of copying in Fusion 360. So uh, first one is if you are in a design that has lots of different components, if you want to save out a component or copy it into like another file. So for example, if I wanted this spring and let's find it in the browser, right click, find in browser, and there's that component and I'd like to save it out into its own new design. I'll right click and do save a copy as, and this will be my spring assembly. I'll save that out. Might take a second. I'll let that work for a minute. Okay, it's ready. It's in my data and it's in that folder. If I go double click, I can open that by itself. So that's one way of copying out, you know, a file out to another location. Okay, the next thing is if I hit search, type in the S key and search for move copy. Um, I had it come up on the channel that someone mentioned, how come it feels like it's a lot of steps? And one thing to keep in mind is when you are dealing with components, bodies, these all behave a little bit different. So if we're doing the body, I select that. And I don't see any of those options that I was looking for. So if I cancel and do move copy, do in a body, make the selection. Now everything wakes up and I can also do the create copy. One gotcha for me is if I start dragging this and then want to create a copy, that doesn't seem to work in Fusion. You can even close it out, select the body again, and now it's um, kind of brought that option back it's not grayed out any longer so that seems to be a sensitive step is you do have to hit that create copy before you start moving things and you can now create a body copy or component copy all right so in this case um, i'll talk about how we move these here with the triad in just a second but we create this body copy and it copies it over okay i have two different components let's talk about moving them so they're free to move about, and whenever you do that in Fusion 360, the components that get moved, um, it's gonna ask you about um, creating a parametric relationship to the movement. Meaning, do you wanna just move it in space and capture where that lives and make that a recorded point for parametric design purposes, or do you wanna revert back to where it was? Okay, so we move this over and hit capture it adds that to the history tree and now this lives in that location and we can revert back to that saved point or save the next one that drag that's happening at the component level is almost identical to what's happening when i dragged it it's just this move component option has a lot more specificity on how we move it it's uh, versus that very rough random drag and you'll notice the capture position it's the exact same button that we were seeing below so or above here previously so if i capture that position it's a new position added in the timeline okay so you can just move it around kind of a free form and capture that or keep it um, or right click and find the move copy search find the s key do the component and then use the triad to move the components let's talk a little bit about all the different move styles so if we go to the body copy select and i'm gonna select this body you notice it just kind of put this kind of out um, in a nearest location there and we can choose to do a free move where we've got all these different move styles or we can start to um, be more specific about what we want to move in what directions do you want to translate so you can only move in the XYZ do you want to rotate um, about uh, an axis right you select that axis and then I have one rotation handle do you want to move point to point um, you also have this ability to set where the pivot lives you see all these locations 
If I click that set pivot, now it's going to let me snap to corners, midpoints, faces, centers, all these different areas that we could move it along. Select that. Be sure to hit the green check mark so that it doesn't relocate it. And now you can translate in that direction. You can rotate about this handle. These planes mean move along a plane or translate along a plane. It looks like it's moving around in space, but in reality, it's moving along that plane the whole time. Also, you can grab the sphere and that's kind of the free form move wherever you want, or you have these translation handles. So there's a lot of power here at work for the different move styles. You then of course can do it numerically with these different um, tools, whether you're using angles or distances, negative or positive. All right, let's talk a little bit about the additional option of faces. So for faces, how do you um, move or change the values of the location of something when it's a body? This is all one big body. So if I'm trying to kind of pick out this particular face series, this whole thing right here, what I want to do is rotate that a little bit. And since it's not its own body, I could use faces to do that in this kind of direct editing method. So if we just kind of rotate it a little bit, and see how it's rotating there hit okay and so we're able to move using those faces even though it's all in one contained body thanks for watching check out this beginner playlist i made for you as well as this other video that youtube thinks would be a great fit